What's happening? Oh no, iPhone 10? It's not selling well. Apple's finally done it. They've pushed everyone too far. Oh, Mr. Tim Cook. I don't feel so good. I'm not ready to die. The iPhone 10 is super duper dead, right? Just no one's buying it. God, that stupid notch. Ah, oh, getting rid of Touch ID. It's not even on the back. Ah, oh, still including a slow charge brick. Ah, oh, moving everyone away from the headphone jack. It just finally persuaded enough people. Everyone just stopped buying iPhones. This is the last straw. This is the last time Apple's gonna be able to get away with this. Apple screwed up big time, and this means because of how bad the iPhone 10 is selling, they're officially doomed, right? Who else do I sound like so far? If you couldn't tell by the title or by that intro, this is sarcasm. Something commonly used but rarely understood here on the internet. The actual global shipment of smartphone data came out earlier today. Now keep in mind, this is not just per one nation. We're talking about the entire world here. We're looking at what smartphones are still selling the best in the last quarter of 2018, the first quarter. So this is after December. If you want the real facts, this is no sarcasm here. The iPhone 10 is the most popular smartphone being sold in the past three months. And yes, keep in mind that that was after it came out in November and December. In the holiday season, lots of people buying iPhones. All the crazy Apple sheep, if you want to just accuse people of iPhone 10 sells good because all the Apple sheep run out and get anything that has an Apple logo on it. Yeah, they already got theirs. All those loyal Apple sheep that will buy it no matter what, they already got theirs on November and December. We're talking about the January through March period here. Just a three month period, Apple sold 16 million iPhone 10s. But the list gets even more interesting. Moving our way down, we see what other smartphone competitors have sold and what percentage of the most popular smartphones are made by other companies. So if we go to rank number two, it's the Apple iPhone 8. That crazy stupid design Apple keeps reusing. Why do they keep giving us the same crap? Well, people seem to like it. And by the way, that's been available since September. So again, if you want to go along the route of Apple sheep will buy anything Apple makes, that's what all these numbers mean. They would have gotten theirs by now. This is just regular people buying phones because they need them. Then after the iPhone 8, of course, we have the iPhone 8 Plus, a bit more expensive, which is my theory on why it's not rank number two, but definitely the product I'm sporting right now and enjoyable to a lot of people. But okay, so that's the new iPhones, right? Those are the current ones. We got the 10, the 8, and the 8 Plus. We saw the Galaxy S9 also come out this year, the best Galaxy phone yet. The Pixel 2 came out in October right after the iPhone 8. So that's gotta be in this list too, right? Because clearly YouTubers always talking about them. The Razer phone came out in late of 2017. How's that selling? Did that make the list? Oh no! Rank number four is actually the iPhone 7 from a year ago. That's the fourth most popular smartphone in the first quarter of 2018, something that came out in 2016. And no headphone jack, by the way. So the four most popular smartphones to be sold in the past three months, all of them had no headphone jack, all of which were running iOS. Okay, but that's gotta be the end now, right? What are the next ones? It's gotta be like the Galaxy S9 or the Galaxy S9 Plus. These phones are super popular. Or the Pixel 2, because YouTubers, I'm always here and talk about how great the camera is. Maybe it's the Razer phone. I've heard that the 120 hertz performance is really good. Maybe it's the OnePlus series that's the next most popular. That one's got to be big. It's really affordable, really good deal for your money. It's got to be something. Oh, it's the Xami Redmi 5A. Redmi 5A. Um, what does that look like again? Did anyone unbox that this year? I didn't. In fact, I'm just now hearing about it. But good on Xami for getting a best selling smartphone on the list at rank number five. Now, moving on to rank number six, we finally get to the Galaxy S9. Plus, which actually came out in this time period. And usually at the phone's launch, they get the majority of the phone sales out of the way, S9 Plus, still at rank number six. So how can these numbers possibly be true? These numbers must be fake, right? Because there's no way most people in the world are spending $1,000 on their iPhone. That's the interesting part. I don't really think most people using the iPhone 10 paid $1,000 for it. The reason these phones are becoming so popular and the reason $1,000 for a starting price is not actually that bad is because I think the majority of users are not paying for it unlocked all up front. They're trading in their old phone and getting discounts on their new one when they upgrade. People are in the Apple upgrade program or the Verizon upgrade program or the Sprint upgrade program. And then they pay for it month to month, which can average from $40 a month to $50 a month, which is a lot more affordable to most people. And it's not even over a two year process. It only lasts until the next iPhone comes out. Then they trade in their current one and get that year's new one. So they don't even have to pay $1,000 collectively. They only pay for half 
half of it over the course of a year. But regardless, that's still Apple selling those iPhone 10s to all these other companies. That's still Apple selling all these iPhone 10s and making them the most popular. So when people want to complain about the notch, you want to complain about the lack of touch ID, but you want to act like this is Apple's failure and they're not innovating anymore. The numbers simply aren't going to show it. And I know I've said this a couple times already, but I'll say it again. If you want to go ahead and use the argument that there's just a blind loyal fan base that's buying iPhones no matter what, they would have bought them by now. All these phones came out in September and November. They were buying them up before the holidays. December is when consumers spend the most amount of money. Now we're talking at the beginning of the year, January, February, March, and the iPhones are still dominating the global smartphone shipments. Most people buying phones are buying iPhones. So why did we have such an outcry of YouTubers saying that the iPhone 10 is dead? Well, because they got a report that Apple was not ordering as many parts for the iPhone 10 manufacturing process as originally they expected. So somehow we got a surplus of parts. This must mean the phone is selling horribly. I'm not really sure how you got to that reasoning, but the reason this is so funny to me is because it happens every single year. Every time an Apple product comes out, everyone hates it. Everyone despises it. Everyone says they removed all these ports and I'm switching away. This is the last straw, Apple. You lost me on this one. Apple's tanking. They're not innovating anymore. They're doing terribly. But then their sales go through the roof and they break all their previous records in terms of revenue. Survey reports that most customers are satisfied with their iPhone 10, with the exception of the Siri feature, which hopefully can be fixed with iOS 12. But to everyone claiming that the 10 is dead, I would just like to say, if you believe the iPhone 10 is dead because they had a surplus of parts and manufacturing, then basically whatever phone you're using that's not an iPhone, that one has died, decomposed, and turned into soil. Because any other smartphone company, Exami, Samsung, Google, they would kill to get the number of sales that Apple's getting on iPhones right now. 16 million units within a three month period? Google doesn't even want to say how many shipments of Pixel are selling, but it's rumored to be around 2 million last year. So Apple within the span of three months was able to sell eight times as many Pixels with only one tiered iPhone. See, that's all Pixels entirely. That's the original Pixel, that's the Pixel 2, the Pixel 2 XL, the Pixel XL. All of those combined around 2 million over the course of 12 months. Now we're talking iPhone 10, just one tier over the span of three months makes 16 million units. They are doing fine, guys. Let's stop pretending that Apple's doomed or Apple's losing everyone or they're making a big mistake because it seems clearly to me that a lot of tech YouTubers seem to live outside the realm of reality. They seem to act like Apple's this joke, like Apple's this knockoff company that no one's really a fan of anymore, when clearly the numbers say otherwise because if anything, Apple's monumental achievement of hitting 16 million units in three months should be even more impressive because each phone cost a thousand dollars. Even if every customer is not paying that much, even if it is on a monthly contract, imagine how well the iPhone 10 would have sold if it was even cheaper. Imagine all the people who didn't buy the iPhone 10 because of the price point. Imagine how high this number could have been. So I don't want people out there pretending like Apple's like this big flopping company because clearly they're still smashing records and clearly a large majority of people in many different countries prefer iOS. I still have a lot of viewers out there that are from different countries and a lot of which who have tweeted at me and said, I just don't understand how an iPhone 10 can be so successful because I don't see them anywhere here in my country. You're not crazy. A different intelligence report did its study of iOS versus Android market share in lots of different countries and found that iOS is the dominant OS in most countries that are predominantly English. Well, also a couple others. So countries like Japan, Sweden, the United Kingdom, the United States of America, Australia, and Canada, all in those countries, they have a majority of users running iOS. So if you're in one of those countries, you may see more iPhones than you do Androids. However, if you happen to be in Argentina, Brazil, Colombia, Egypt, France, Germany, India, Italy, Malaysia, Nigeria, Poland, Russia, South Africa, or Spain, in those countries, Android is more dominant. So if you're seeing more Android phones, you're not crazy. It just depends on country to country. But each one of those countries definitely has a lot of people in them, and iOS is definitely dominant in a lot of these places. So you may not like the notch. You may not like where Apple's going. You may not like the iPhone 10, and that's fine. We don't have to agree on that. I just hope people understand that when they make the accusation that Apple is dying or Apple is doomed or the iPhone 10 is dead, really reconsider that statement because clearly the numbers say otherwise and this happens every single year. Every single year people complain, act like Apple's on the last straw and then they smash all the records. So let's stop pretending here. Let's stop living in this imaginary world where Pixel 2 versus Galaxy S9, that's the real debate, when clearly neither of those are in the top five best-selling smartphones of the year. In fact, a year-old iPhone that's approaching three years old, that's outselling the latest Galaxy
proxy phone. I don't make these things up. These are the harsh numbers. And if you think Apple's lying about these things, if you think Apple's just spewing out lies so that they sound good, why would they come in under expectations? If Apple was lying about their unit sales, wouldn't they just say they exceeded expectations? Because they didn't. They were slightly below, but that was still better than everyone else. If they were lying, why would they make themselves sound like they didn't hit their marks? I don't get it. And if you want to get into the argument that companies can just lie about their statistics, who does know how many iPhones are being sold if Apple doesn't know? Then I could just claim everyone's lying. Samsung says, no, we're selling more. Google says, no, we're selling more. Let's accept the facts that we have and the stats that we have, because if we go the route of everyone's lying, there's really no limit to what we can make up on the spot. And I don't want to go down that route. So let me know what you think. Is the iPhone 10 really dead or are people overhyping this a little bit? Let me know in the comments below. This is your Apple Sheep here, and I will see you in the next one.